This is problem 2-27 from R.C. Hibbeler, Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the resultant of two forces act on the x-axis and have a magnitude of 10 kN. We have to determine the angle theta such that the force Fb is minimum and we also have to determine the force Fa. To solve this problem, first of all we have to construct a parallelogram by using these two forces. So if I extend the x-axis and draw the projection of the vector Fa and the projection of the vector Fb and the resultant is acting on the x-axis and resultant will be drawn from the tail of these two vectors to the opposite end. Let's label them. This is Fa. This is Fb. And this vector is Fr. This angle is theta. This angle is unknown right now. Let's call it beta. So if I consider a triangle A O B consider triangle A O B so we know that the sum of interior angles of triangle equal 180 so 30 degrees plus beta plus theta equal to 180 degrees from here beta is equal to 150 degrees minus theta and let's call it 1 we have to determine the force Fb so for force Fb I have to use a sign law Fb over sin 30 equal fr over sin beta now beta is equal to 150 degrees minus theta so fp over sin 30 equal fr is 10 kilo newtons sin 150 minus theta so fp is equal to sine 30 is 0.5 so 0 0.5 into 10 over I can also write sine 150 minus theta as sine 150 cos theta minus cos 150 sine theta from here fp is equal to 5 over 0 0.5 cos theta plus 0 0.866 sin theta let's call it equation A now to find the minimum we have to use the application of differentiation so I have to do differentiate the force Fb with respect to theta so differentiate Fb with respect to theta so Fb over d theta is equal to I can take out constant 5 outside of the differentiation d over d theta into 1 over 0.5 cos theta plus 0.866 sin theta now I can use the quotient rule of differentiation right here by using quotient rule this can be written as dfp over d theta 
is equals to 5 bracket denominator with the product of the derivative of the numerator minus numerator and the derivative of denominator divided by square of the denominator from here 5 the derivative of the constant is 0 so this term becomes 0 so the whole term becomes 0 so we have negative and the derivative of cos theta is negative sin theta and negative sin theta into negative 1 is positive so we have 0 0.5 sin theta then we have the sin theta derivative of sin theta is cos theta and before that it's negative 1 so it's negative 0 0.866 cos theta divided by the denominator now if I multiply the 5 with the 0.5 sin theta and the negative 8 0.866 cos theta and it will become 2.5 sin theta minus 4.33 cos theta divided by 0 0.5 cos theta plus 0 0.866 sin theta whole square this is dfp over d theta since we are finding the minimum so the gradient of the minimum and the maximum is 0 so I can replace dfp over d theta with 0 because the gradient of the minimum and maximum is 0 so if I put 0 right here then if I multiply the denominator with the 0 then it will become the 0 so I have 2.5 sin theta minus 4.33 cos theta so from here if I rearrange the equation then sin theta over cos theta is equal to 4.33 over 2.5 from here I can replace it with 10 theta equal 4.33 and 2.5 theta is equal to 60 degrees this is our first answer now I have to find the force FP and the force FA now I can put the value of this theta equal to 60 degrees in the equation A so put 60 degree equal 60 degree equal 60 degrees in equation A so from equation A FP is equal to 5 kilo Newton this is equation A and for force FA I can apply the sine law FA over sine over sine theta which is the 60 degrees is equal to fr over sine beta now beta is equal to if I put the value of theta right here so beta is equal to 90 degrees so fr over sine 90 fr is known which is 10 kilonewtons 
so from here fa is equal to 8.66 kilonewtons now this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates if you have any questions about this problem then you can write them down in the comment section and i will answer them as soon as possible thanks for watching